Hello guys, it's generally Christmas time here, but it's currently, at the time of filming, um, nearly the end of Boxing Day, okay, which is the day after Christmas, okay, and you know what it means at Christmas time? Um, well, it means, and this has been torn to pieces now, sausage rolls, and you probably think, what have sausage rolls got to do with Christmas, and I've got one, and a half sausage rolls left. I'm just going to take a bite out of one. Okay. So I'm going to take a bite out of one now so I can get on and talking. Okay. Now. What have sausage rolls got to do with Christmas? Even now, I don't really know. I'll explain all this in a moment, okay? Please bear with me. Now, I know that sausages, small sausages, have been put on co cocktail sticks and eaten at Christmas parties and things like that. So I know that you've had like cooked chocolates on sticks and eaten at, at like, um, you know, the parties of the rich and and offices and offices and things like that but sausage rolls christmas couldn't see a connection i still don't really see a connection but what am i talking about well i'll explain this year um a social media person known as who calls himself lad baby and he called himself that simply because he became a father and he wants to, you know, tell the world how he liked being a father or something, has had yet another Christmas number one. Now, what do you mean by yet another? Well, when you talk about things like Christmas number ones and who would have the most in Britain, you might think it might be somebody like Paul McCartney, maybe the Spice Girls, um... Maybe some other really famous acts that we've had over the years. I don't know. Um, you might think of people like Robbie Williams. I don't know. I mean, I, I can't remember off the top of my head who has had the most. Christmas number ones as a, fa as a really, really famous artist that people have really, really heard of and that's known worldwide. Right? But no. Believe it or not... Lad Baby holds the record for having five consecutive Christmas number one songs that are all different. So they're all different. So each year he's released a different song. Admittedly, they're based on cover songs. So they're basically, he's doing his own version of famous songs, but we've changed the lyrics, mostly to talk about sausage rolls, believe it or not. And... Um, you know, and as I said, he's won the, he, he's not, won's not the right word. He's managed to, um, well, it's win the way. He's won the, the number one Christmas chart position for the last five years, including this year. And this year, he um, did a cover of the Band Aid single, Do They Know It's Christmas? And he called it Food Aid because um, of the cost of living crisis or the... Um, Prices are going up. We've had medical staff going on strike because I think they're not paid enough. Ambulance drivers have refused to um, drive the ambulances. Nurses have refused to um, actually treat people. And you probably think I'm joking. I'm not. I wished I was. I'm deadly serious. Right? Um, and... You know, our NHS is supposed to be the envy of the socialist world. Mm. Anyway, for those who, in, who really have, like the idea of socialist healthcare, yes, it's great an idea, but in America, I will admit that the companies just simply would not tolerate ambulance staff or nurses going on strike. They just say, you're out, goodbye, or we'll get somebody else, even if it means poaching other people or bringing them in from abroad very quickly. You know, they just fire them and say, OK, if you want your job back, you must call for it. Anyway, that's another matter, right? 
So, he has won the record this year for having five consecutive Christmas number ones. Which is absolutely unheard of in Britain. It would be unheard of for an incredibly famous artist. You know. That, you know, like I said. But. To have not only five Christmas number ones. Is in- unbelievable. To have five consecutive number ones. Is well, the odds of it happening, and given that this person is not even a famous singer, you would say it was about as like if you told me this about ten years ago, I've said the likelihood of it happening would be about probably as likely as finding, you know, Martians living on Mars or something, or you know, or something like that. You know, you'd have to be something that was just considered ridiculous, given that for years the professionals have tried and not achieved this. Why would a nobody, effectively? Someone who's not famous for music at all. But yes, he's done it because he has done this for charity. And for the last five years, he has done this and donated all the funds to charities to help poor, disadvantaged people and the homeless and people like that um, in general terms. Okay, And that's why he's number one this year as well. I think this year he also had some support from some... Other people, I think Boy George was on it. I'm not sure if they, they really were on it or if they were lookalikes. I don't know if they were lookalikes or if they were the real people. I'm not sure. I know last year, for example, he actually got Elton John and Ed Sheeran to help him. Uh, they did some backing vocals for him on it. OK. Um, and um, but other years, it was really himself and perhaps occasionally a few friends. But, you know, not anybody famous. So there you go, guys. Um, me eating a pint from sausage roll at Christmas to celebrate this. And if you guys look at my back catalogue of my um my previous videos, I did do a video about this. I think a few years ago. Okay, when. It may be the first time it happened. I can't remember, but I know I definitely did do a video about it. Okay? I'm not sure when. Um, so unless YouTube have deleted it, or my memory's so bad I thought I did it, but I didn't, you should be able to find it. Okay? If you look hard enough, okay? Thanks for watching. Bye!